Hey my dear friends, today we will be doing SAT paper number 1, the calculator section. Let us start. Hello students, so today we will be doing SAT test 1 and uh, we will be doing the calculator section. So here we have the calculator section on the screen. Mass test with calculator. You have 55 minutes and you have 38 questions to do. The information for reference which is given over here is about the area of circle, rectangle, triangle, Pythagoras theorem, then special right triangles, volume of cube, cuboid, cylinder, sphere, cone and a pyramid and about the radian and degree measures. See these three angles and property of a triangle. So we can use whenever it is required. This information is given at the beginning of every SAT paper. So let us start with the question number one. John runs at different speeds as part of his training program. The graph shows his target heart rate at different times during his workout. On which of the interval is the target heart rate strictly increasing and then strictly decreasing? Strictly increasing and then 60 decreasing. Let us go with options 0 to 30 minutes. 0 to 30 minutes he is increasing and then he is remaining constant so this is not the case 40 to 60 he increases till 50 and then decreases yeah so this is the answer we, 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 we will go with option number b let us go to question number two if y equals to kx where k is a constant and y is equal to 24 when k x equal to 6 it means that y is 24 and y is k times of x is 6 so we get k equals to dividing by 6 on both sides therefore we have y is equal to 4 times of x so what is y when x is 5 just plug in 5 over here we get 4 times 5 yes it is 20 option number c is correct going to question number 3 uh, what is the measure of angle 2 angle 2 we need to find angle 2 and l and m are parallel lines these two are parallel lines it means that angle 1, this angle 1 uh, should be equals to this one, say angle 3, because these are corresponding angles. Then S and T are also equal. It means angle 3 is equal to angle 4. So why? Because these are also corresponding angles. And then 2 for 4 is equals to 180 degrees. That is their linear pairs. So 2 plus angle 4, which is same as angle 1, should be equals to 180 degrees. So when I subtract it, I get 145 degrees. It means D is the right answer. Going to question number four. So since this is a time test, we will try and finish this, this in the uh, allotted time. Question number four. 16 plus 4x is 10 more than 14. 16 plus 4x is 10 more than 14. What is the value of 8x? We need to find 8x. So first of all, we find what is 4x. This is 24. So 4x will be equals to 8. Then multiplying by 2 on both sides, this is equal to 16. So I will go with option number C. Let us go to question number 5. Which of the following graph best shows a strong negative association? Negative association means when one quantity increases, another decreases so we observe that the most more negative is this d option so we will go with d question number six uh deck one decagram is 10 grams and 1000 milligrams is one gram a hospital st stores one type of medicine in two decagram container two decagram means two into ten that is 20 gram 20 grams so now we will convert it into milligrams so 20 into um, 20 into 1000 that will give you milligram so the answers will be 20,000 milligram it means we will go with option number D question number seven it says that the number of rooftops with See, rooftop solar panel installation in the five cities. Cities A, B, C, D and E. 
If the total number of installation is 27,500, what is the appropriate level for the vertical axis? See here, if you observe, these are 9, uh, these are 5, so 14, 14 plus 6, 20, and then 24, and then 3.5. Basically, they are 27.5. So he's saying that total are 27,500. It means that when I multiply this by 1,000, I should get 27,500. And this scale should be in thousands. So it should be in thousands. It means uh, C should be the right answer. For what value of n is this equal to 0? Now see, observe here that absolute value of n minus 1 is always positive or equal to 0. And when I add plus 1 to both sides, it means that it will always be more than or equal to 1. It means it can never be equal to 0. Therefore, no such value of n is possible. Question number 9 and 10 refer to the uh, refer to this equation a equals to 1052 plus 1.088 t and we need to find uh, t in terms of a first of all just subtract 1052 from both sides then dividing by 1.08 on both sides we get t so i think that should be option number a Going to question number 10, at which of the following air temperature will the speed of sound be closest to 1000 feet per second? Speed of sound that is A is equals to 1000. What is the temperature? So 1000 minus 1052 or 1.08. So that will be minus 52 divided by 1.08. Since it's a calculator section, we can use our calculator. And we use our calculator, we, we get it around minus 48.15 so it means that our correct answer is B. Going to question number 11 which of the following number is not a solution of the inequality not a solution first of all just subtract 4x from both sides and then add 5 from both sides we get minus x is greater than or equal to 2 then multiplying by minus 1 when you multiply by minus 1 this negative x becomes positive x this greater than sign becomes less than less than equal to minus 2 it means it can be b c or d it cannot be equal to a because a is greater than minus 2 so answer for 11 is a going to question number 12 based on the histogram above based on the histogram above of the following which is the closest to the average <coughs> Need to find the average so number of seeds times number of number of apples so we get six over here because three times two then five times four is twenty six times one seven times two and nine times three so when i add all of them i get 26 plus 20 that will give you 46 then 46 plus 27 gives you 73 we need to divide this by number of apples that is two plus four 2 plus 4 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 so that will be basically uh, 8 10 and 12 so dividing this by 12 it will be near to 6 point something so the answer will be 6 we need to find the closest so closest is 6 question number 13 now this is a very big question but don't get confused just just go through this table quickly just have a glance on it and then which of the following category accounts for the approximate 19 percent of all the categories found female taking geometry female taking geometry are 53 out of 310 so just take 53 out of 310 into 100 and calculate this then females taking algebra how many females are taking algebra to uh, 62 out of 310 into 100 we need to find for 19% which of them accounts to 19% then males taking ge geometry males taking geometry are 59 out of 310 into 100 so this will account to something around if I observe this on the calculator, let me check, 
फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फिफ्टी थ्री जीरो जीरो थ्री फाइव बाई थ्री वन जीरो दिस की फिफ्टी सेवनटीन पॉइंट और नाइन परसेंट एंड सेकेंड वन सिक्सटी टू हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री वन जीरो दिस की फिफ्टी ट्वेंटी वन परसेंट ट्वेंटी परसेंट थ्री टू फाइव नाइनटीन परसेंट लेट एस चेक द थर्ड वन फिफ्टी नाइन हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री वन जीरो सो दिस इज इविंग टू बी नाइनटीन पॉइंट जीरो थ्री सो दिस विल बी द आंसर सी लेंथ ऑफ फिश इन इंच इज द टेबल ऑफ आउस लिस्ट द लेंथ टू द नियरेस्ट इंच ऑफ इंच ऑफ रैंडम सैंपल ऑफ ट्वेंटी वन ब्राउन बुलेट फिश द आउटलायर मेजरमेंट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फोर इंचज इज एन एरर दिस इज एन एरर सो वेन यू रिमूव दिस एरर वट विल विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग विच ऑफ दैम विल चेंज द मोस्ट सी मीन विल नॉट चेंज सो मच मीडियम विल ऑल्सो नॉट चेंज सो मच But if you observe the range, because the range was, it is the difference between the maximum and the minimum. Now, since the maximum is reduced by eight, straight away range will be reduced by eight. It means that the range will be affected the most. No other data will be affected so much as range. So range is the correct answer. Let us go to question number fifteen now. The graph about this is the total cost C in dollars for renting a boat for eight hours. It means that this is the initial cost. Even before renting, even before taking it, you know, using it, you have to pay the total cost, the initial cost of five dollars. What does the C intercept represents in the graph? The initial cost of renting the boat. Yes, this is the answer. And then question number sixteen is based on this. so it says what is the relation between c and h so basically total cost is equals to we know that y is equal to mx plus b here slope what is the slope if i observe the points let us take this as the final point 5 comma 20 and 0 comma 5 so slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so it is 15 by 5 that is 3 so slope will be 3 times of h so this is ruled out this is ruled out So three times of x and plus the initial value. Initial value is five. So I put initial value is five. This is also ruled out. So the answer is C. Let us go to question number seventeen. Uh, the complete graph of the function is shown in the x y plane. For what value of x is the value of f at its minimum? So the minimum value over here is this one. We need to find the value of x. I think this is minus three, and the minimum value is minus two. So I will go with minus three because it's asking about the value of the x. Right? Let us go to question number eighteen. Y is less than minus x plus a. Y is greater than x plus b. And origin zero zero is a solution. It means that it should satisfy both equations. From here we get zero is less than zero plus a. It means a is greater than zero. That is, a is positive. And from the second equation, zero, zero is greater than zero plus b means b is negative. Now a is positive, b is negative. It means a is greater than b. So I will go with a. Let us do few more questions. Question number nineteen: A food truck sells salads for six point five zero each and drinks for two dollars each. The food truck selling from selling a total of two hundred nine salads. And drinks, salads, and drinks gives you two zero nine. And the cost of each salad is six point five zero, and drink is two, and it accounts to total of eight thirty six point five zero. How many salads were sold? We need to find how many salads were sold. So just multiply the first equation by two. So the first equation becomes two s. Plus two d is equal to four one eight. This is the first equation. Then we subtract it. So sign gets changed. Let me change the pen also. This gives you four point five s, and these two will cancel out. You get this as four one eight point five zero. Then s is equal to four one eight point five divided by four point five. So I'm just using my calculator now. So my calculator says four point five 
uh, divided by 4.5 is giving me 93 so the right answer is 93 it means b is the correct answer let us do one more question and then we will finish today we are doing 20 questions in the next video i will be completing this session and i will be doing the remaining 18 questions so let us do the question number 20 alma bought a laptop computer at a store that gave a 20 percent discount of the original price the total amount she pays to the cashier is for p dollars including an eight percent sale tax so let us suppose that the cost of the original price of the computer is x so x times of she's give she's provided a discount of 20 percent means she will pay just 80 percent of the amount and that's then over this amount she is paying 8% of sale tax means this into 1.08 and this is equals to p it means what is x it is p divided by 0 0.08 divided by 1.08 and that is the answer it means option number d so students what you need to do over here is if you uh, if you found at some place that i am going fast because i need to complete the paper and show you that we can this paper is doable in the limit in the switch related time in the allotted time so i'm going a bit fast but what you will do you will just pause the video and just go through the questions again and again if there is any problem just write down in the comment section below thank you so much for wa watching it bye bye so dear friends thank you so much for watching it do like it share it and subscribe it bye bye